YouTube, the Apophis here, and welcome to the Commentator Showdown. Yes, we've been waiting over a week now to get this on the road, ready to go. The anticipation's high, so let me explain what's going to happen. Round one, your commentators are going to need to tell us what the best class to use in Black Ops 2 is, and they need to explain why it's the best. Now, keep in mind, when you decide to vote, don't vote based on whether or not you agree with their class. Vote based on commentator skill and video quality. Okay, I encourage you to vote across all of these videos. It's going to be one vote per account per video. So you can vote on all five videos that are going to be in round one. I encourage you to do that. These guys are going to need your help. Your votes count. So, in order to vote, all you got to do is drop it in the comments below who you think the better commentator was. Not who whose class you thought was the best. Who was the better commentator. Alright guys, so without further ado, let's kick it. Are you a noob when it comes to Call of Duty Black Ops 2 creator class? Do you want stats like these? Do you want medals like these? Do you want to be prestige master? Do you want to get medals like these game after game? We'd like to be able to call in a swarm consistently. We'd like to have scores like these frequently. Are you fed up with running low score streaks when you could run high score streaks like these? Why trust me? Well, I've got all the SMGs diamond as you can see, so I've put a lot of effort into it. And this is just a quick little gameplay quick swarm off for the start of the game and as you can see the gun of choice is an MSMC I just want to um, show you how devastating this gun can be um, as you know it is the Mr. OP in this game it is on par, in my opinion it's on par with the PDW uh, its mag size is average at about 35 rounds and the red fire is around average for the SMGs but the main thing that does make up for it is its immense damage as you can see here I'm just clearing out rooms and it's just ridiculous how amazing this gun is at all ranges so this, as you can see there, I just picked up a guy at long range and picking up guys at all different ranges it's really really good at all ranges, it's just amazing up close and if you throw a long barrel on it's like an assault rifle seriously it's for them my swarm kills me and as you can see here I'm just showing you the versatility of this gun so it has, this is the second class I'm going to show you and it's just it's just showing you that you can be stealthy with it although I do think that the science that does take away its um, its um, je ne sais quoi if you will and here you can see it's just it's accuracy and it has literally literally next to no recoil I'm just absolutely wiping out kids so here's the class on screen for you now this is the first class as you saw just there this is the science with the fast mag I've got flat jacket, hardline, scavenger, tack mask, C4 and the EMP grenades. Now I don't have much words to describe why I use these perks so let me just show you some gameplay footage that I got explaining why. So this is to avoid the pesky explosions. Hardline, this is to get the score streaks a lot quicker as you see I'm getting swarm and dogs and this feed right here wouldn't be without hardline I probably wouldn't have got these score streaks. Now here it's just like I'm calling, trying to call in my swarm but I couldn't. So here's Tac Mask and I would have been flashed there and I wouldn't have been able to got the final field cam. So that's why I think Tac Mask is really important in this game. This is Scavenger so you see here it's really essential. So I throw, it works hand in hand with C4s, so throw C4, kill the guy, get another pack and kill the guy again. This is the C4s again. If you didn't know you can double tap X once you've thrown it so that you can blow it up a bit quicker and it's just my favourite explosive, it's just so devastating so this is the EMPs, everybody hates EMPs, it really lasts quite a while and they're, they're just annoying to spam out and it's quite funny here is the second class, now it's the same but I would normally put on toughness instead of the C4 and EMP but I forgot to take it off in this screenshot, I'm very sorry this is why I run the toughness so, so you can have literally no flinch right there and like a turn on that guy right there now why I run toughness, here's just the two classes um, side by side why I run toughness is that it really helps out with the lag conversation so you're not like like um, lagging about and you're not you can win your gunfights when you're getting shot at now I would normally 
run the um, flat jacket and tack mask because it takes out the bullshit in this game. If you know what I mean by the bullshit in this game, it is pretty much random bouncing Betty's blowing you up when you're one off your streak, randomly getting shock charged when you're one off your streak and then dying, and hardline and scam do work hand in hand because scam just so you can get more bullets so you don't have to pick up some random scrubs gun and hardline is so that you can um, get your score streaks a lot faster like it really helps out it's not really much point if you're running low end score streaks but there is a big factor when you're running the higher end score streaks hey guys my name is Dandy and I hope you really enjoyed that video it took me a long time to edit and because I am relatively new to YouTube and uh, I've had to teach myself all of the like editing little things and I've watched some videos and stuff but that's beside the point if you enjoyed that video hit that subscribe button maybe come subscribe to me maybe please I have some content on the left there's a video which it was my last video hopefully Matt can put an annotation on the screen please Matt leave it for me please 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 anyways I've been to Standy and peace out Hey guys, what is going on? It's Icon Nation here, and for those of you that don't know, this is my very first video in the Commentator Showdown Challenge. I'm hoping to make it as far as I possibly can. So the prompt for our very first episode was create a three to four minute video containing the best class setup in Black Ops 2, and then why exactly you think it's the best setup. So for this, <clears throat> um, you're looking at the best setup in the game. And I guess before you do this, you had to kind of think whether you want to go you know the pub stopping route or you want to go competitive and to be honest uh, the best class for pub stopping won't work in competitive so I went with the best competitive class now the other thing that you have to realize is that in the competitive playlist there's a lot of things that aren't used such as UAVs or counter UAVs or ghost so those things have to automatically be wiped out and <clears throat> I don't know if this will give me the advantage in this part of the challenge but still if you're playing competitively if you're trying to beat the best people in the world this is the class you want to use so first of all bar none best gun in the game MSMC um, it's good at every range it doesn't recoil it has a good rate of fire it's just it's just downright the best gun secondly uh, it's attachments so long barrel you want to get that extra 30 percent of range for with the long barrel so you got to put that on there then the fast mag you need that because you know you don't want to get caught with your pants down so if you don't have fast mag you know you're gonna take those two seconds to reload and it's just gonna take a ton of time you're gonna have your pants down you're gonna get caught and you're not gonna win as many gun battles so definitely have these two attachments they're the best some people like to use extended mags I don't like extended mags because it only gives you an extra 10 rounds and you know you need I don't know it's just not that much of an advantage to use one of your 10 slots for it uh, don't use a secondary if you use a secondary you're a fool you need for competitive games you need to be able to knife run so you need to be able to switch to your knife and run and that is super important because you get to places faster than other t other people do on the other team and just make sure that you know you don't you don't have a secondary equipped in terms of wild cards perk one greed and perk three greed and right now I'm about to get into why I use both of those so perk one greed lightweight and flak jacket again you don't need ghost you don't need hardline um, I'm in competitive right now you see that these are blacked out you can't even pick them so lightweight and flak jacket um, talking about lightweight you have to use lightweight with extreme conditioning you know you get places faster like I already said um, you know if you're trying to cap flags capture the flag is a huge part of <clears throat> the competitive list so you have to have lightweight. you have to have extreme conditioning and then that leads me to my second part which is flak jacket and tactical mask so Tactical mask is a must, and I'm going to explain that when I get to concussion, but you have to have tactical mask so that you're not slowed down. Um, a lot of people in the competitive list, they'll throw stuns, and they will throw concussion grenades, uh, the same thing, but anyways, they'll throw those to try to slow you down if you have the objective, so you have to make sure that you have tactical mask so that you're not slowed down and you don't give them time to catch up to you. Flag jacket, because when you run around corners, um, there could be... Betty's and it's not so much that but if you're playing hard if you're playing hard point with this class when you're in the hard point you're gonna get hit by nades and whatnot and you just don't want to die from that cheap stuff so wear flak jacket and wear tactical mask 
And then finally, to round it out, you have to use a concussion because a lot of times other people do not use. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Other people do not use um, tactical masks. So if they have the flag, if they're in front of you, you can throw your concussion. You can cons you can slow them down, catch up to them, get the kill, return your flag, and uh, concussion is a must. Lethal, not so much. Again, if you're wearing flag jacket, you know, you're going to out-sprint at everybody. But this is my class setup. I hope you like it. If you play competitive, definitely check it out and vote for me. And hope to see you in the next round. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. There you have it, the two commentators for this episode of the first round of the Commentator Showdown. There's going to be five or four more videos other than this one for a total of five for round one. If you haven't seen them, make sure you check them out. They're labeled by episode numbers, so it should be easy to keep track. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I really, really appreciate it. Please don't forget to vote. Help these guys out. There's uh, a prize on the line for them. They know what it is, and the more support they get from you, the more encouragement they're going to have to continue making videos on their own personal channels. So, thank you all so much for stopping by. There's two videos on the screen you might have missed. Click them, they open in a new window. Subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Click it, you know you're going to want to stick around. Uh, and as always, guys, follow me on Twitter to find out what's going on. And we'll see you next time for the next episode of the Commentator Showdown.